Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of DC Collectors. Today we're taking a look at the new Spin Master Batman. I believe this is a 5 inch action figure. I don't know, we'll take a look at it, we'll break them open and uh, we'll, we'll get them out of the box so you can see them and we'll put them up against the other figures so you can kind of get a, a, a sense of scale with these things. Now, I say these are new because I haven't seen them in stores before, but on a recent trip to um, Family Dollar, I found these guys and uh, they look pretty cool, five bucks each. So I grabbed them, these are the only two that they had. Um, I didn't see any villains, just these two versions of Batman and there were three on the shelf, these two and another one of these, so I don't know how how they're packed in cases or anything like that but first let's take a look at the packaging on these guys battle armor batman let's see here from spin master and these still have the cape crusader logo there and creatures of chaos emblem there you can see the back of this the upc in case you're looking for these guys bottom of the box just says spin master www.com all right, so let's take a look at this particular guy here. This is the regular version of Batman because it just says Batman, but obviously a black suit. Same thing here on the back of the card. Check that out and the bottom. All righty, so let's break these guys open and let's play. All righty, so here these guys are out of the package. And I will tell you, this is their, I want to say, I don't want to say cheaper. This is Spin Master's uh, cheaper version of a five inch action figure. Uh, and, and you'll see why in, in just a second. We'll, we'll start off by looking at the paint and the sculpt on these. The sculpt doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks like a Batman, right? Looks pretty decent. I like the, the paint apps, just a, just a little sticker there. They don't do too bad with these figures. Looking at the sculpt, it looks pretty tight. You'll see that it has the same type cape, this cloth or vinyl cape that the other Spin Master, like the four inch figures have. Just a quick look there at the feet. See what he looks like on the back, just a nice, Nice looking action figure over here on the armored up version of Batman. Same head sculpt looks like. Just a nice little purplish armored look to the guy. Pretty nice here. The boots look a little different. The gauntlets look a little different. Let's see the back of him. So, so really nice. So here's where the cheapness factor comes in. Let's take a look at the articulation on this guys. Okay, so they have three points of articulation. That's it. The head can turn. On this one can't turn too much because there's the, um, the, the neck armor there. The arms, they could turn all the way around. You can see here, that's it. No articulation in the legs whatsoever uh how do kids play with that i guess if they were gonna if he's gonna kick this guy he just uh, you know at least with here you can punch you know you could take him and uh, for five dollars i mean that's what you get same here you know same articulation um with this guy at least he could turn his head a little bit further the, the, those uh shoulder muscles there are gonna keep his head from turning too far over okay so let's compare them to the four inch scale spin master figures here is a batman so you can kind of get an idea and these may be this is a four inch scale these may be like a six inch scale type figure we're gonna get a mcfarland toys dark knights metal batman and he's seven inch scale so yeah these are probably i'm gonna let me get the tape measure So these are six inch scale action figures and a little bit taller thanks to the ears on Batman. All right, so that's it for the Batman Spin Master. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't wanna call them cheap action figure. I, I don't know what to actually call them. Uh, uh, money saving Batman action figures. And again, these were at Family Dollar, they're $5 a piece. And you get a pretty decent action figure for $5, just no articulation below the shoulders. 
<laughs> that's it. But if you're a kid, you could probably do something with these. You could probably play something, make some real fun out of these Batman action figures. And that's what it's all about. All right, so hit that subscribe and that like for the channel. You can also check me out on DCCollectors.com each and every day. And also you can check me out on social media with DC Collectors on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Peace.